If you're looking for the cheapest, and I mean cheapest coins out there to build your God Squad, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable. And make sure you use Cold Wolf to get 3% off. Link is in the description. Now, I made a big mistake. I thought I was recording the live gameplay when I played this game right here, but my mic was never recording, so I was just talking into the mic to no one, bro. Never got recorded anyway, man. We're doing post-commentary to give you guys, you know, my thoughts about using the Panthers online. Make sure you guys drop a like on today's video. What you're going to see is the single back wing stack scheme, the, the formation. The scheme is deadly if you know how to use it properly. Me, I like to throw the one play tutties. However, you could do more than that. Uh, and there's sometimes where, like, you'll see in this gameplay where the guy doesn't want me to throw the one play tutty. So, I mean, you just got to... I could have called more plays than what I did in this gameplay. So make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, become a member. The full scheme breakdowns in there, along with the 335 wide meta, 245 odd, 335 Sam, bunch offset, this wing stack. Uh, the 335, I actually put on the main channel, but if you guys want me to do the 335 the way I use it with the Panthers, which is deadly, I can. You're just guys going to see that this... Become a member, bro. You want you want access to all that stuff. The trailer flex, bunch offset, all that's in there now. He does get me with a corner route, but my shading and my coverage, I'm not doing that yet. Okay, I'm just trying to see what the homie's doing as far as his uh, offense. He seems to be. This is like the the two players in a row that I don't know. I have auto defensive play call on it. Turn it off. I just realized it whenever I came out to the field and my guys on the right side. So, tries to establish some sort of run, but the Steelers really aren't the running team. Maybe some of you guys feel different. But the Panthers, man. Okay? The Panthers, you have to be better than average on offense. You can't just use the Panthers. But the defense, they're pretty much clamps, bro, if you know what you're doing. Look right here with the user lurk. All I do whenever I'm playing defense, right, what I do is, is... I'll look for the open route that's going to get open as fast as I can, and that's where my user goes. But most of the time, everything's pretty much clamped up. Now, you're going to see right here, I come out on the PA Fort, and I want to say this guy comes out like in a heavy man blitz, so we just switch to the zone weak, which is, like I told you guys in previous videos, they nerf toss, predetermined defense for toss, so stay away from the toss plays, the run plays. You have like a 1 in 100 chance of actually gaining some legit yard from a toss. Stretch is kind of nerfed. It's half it's half nerfed, but the zone weak right here hasn't been touched. So use this play it, it You can actually get the yards you're supposed to with that play if not more uh, I showed you guys from another playbook how zone weak works, but just check this out right here, bro Okay, I showed you guys this video earlier I know people want to see it in gameplay and like I said with the Panthers I have to use plays like this this uh, type of scheme with them because they are not a uh, an all-out assault team however anderson is 95 speed so these plays still work really nice for him so it's good to have a wide receiver that is 95 speed um i was using marquise brown with the ravens and then lamar can't bro I, I feel like darnold is a better thrower i gotta look at the stats but as far as the deep throw goes i feel like darnold's better man like did you see just how pretty that looked there was another game uh that i played I was playing against a relative and I used him and he, bro, he threw out of the pocket accurate under pressure for a touchdown with that same play. Cause I lab against like family and stuff. I mean, I whoop them, but it is what it is. I just practice on them new plays and stuff. You guys know how it is. It's the bully session. Uh, so what I do is when I play relatives is I'll take the ball away and then I'll punt it back to him, play defense. And then I'll do a couple offense and then keep punting the ball back to him. You know, the vibes, giving them a chance so they don't quit and say, I hate this game. Work sometimes, sometimes it don't. All right, so here we are. We're just uh, messing around right now. We're just in the defense, not really running man. Just bling this all in. Nice little uh, inside run he did there. I thought he was coming to my gap, but he actually cut it inside, which is smart by him. And like I said, we can just use meta plays, man, because this 335 wide is actually in the member section as well. Now, I'm just running it stock to, to utilize the seam flats and how they do it. Like right there, you saw a guy coming off the edge. I go over that in the member section, how you can get that guy off the edge really easy. There's also videos I've posted. What I'm going to do is like from the scheme, I'll post one play. And if you guys want access to all of it, uh, I will. You could be in the member section to get it, the full breakdown. So this right here is the cover four show two, which is really good as well. But with the Panthers, man, the Panthers, you don't really want to be running a lot of zone. 
you want to stick to the man defense, okay? Because they have the corners. Bro, they even have safeties that can play uh, man defense. You know what I mean? What I need to do in my personnel is to move Chin out of the uh, safety lineup and make him my user. I want to say he's fast, real fast. So this guy's got someone open right here. I want to say he's going to quick hike me or, or no huddle. So first and 10, moving the ball a little bit, man, on me. I'm just studying, seeing what he's doing, trying to stay under the routes. That's another thing with your user. You want to stay under routes. He's got nowhere to go. We get the... Was that a sack or was it? Yeah, it was a sack because he lost yards there. So second 11. Now we're going to move right back to the cover two man. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to press shade underneath. Okay. Now I'm not going to use uh, inside third unless I have to. I could have shot that gap right there. I just realized that. If I had Chin as my user, I probably could have just shot that gap. But Chandler's not really faster. Not that fast. You see my zone drops are to five. So now I'm going to shade over the top and put these guys actual cloud flats to play five. So we have over the top coverage, which you got to be careful because sometimes they won't. But these corners are fast. They can play over the top. That's that's the crazy thing. This has got nowhere to go because of this defense, man. Now, I want you guys to see it's a fourth and nine. Look how awesome the defense is on this team, bro. Just look how awesome it is. I've never seen anything like this when I use another team. Okay. And I'm talking about it's consistent, homies. All right. So it's a fourth and nine. We're going to run the same setup. I'm not even shading underneath. I'm placing cloud flats over the shading over the top. Okay. That's what I'm doing with a three red hook. So it's mad, mad coverage. But watch this. Dude. Gilmore just launched from like he was being cooked. And he just launched and took the ball out of the air. I mean, I'm sure it's ability based. But just to have that on your team running mad defense. Now, here's what I mean, bro. Okay. Look, check this out. I want you guys to watch this a little bit and just show you guys. I saw that it might have been a, a two deep pass, but I was wrong. He's actually back there. It actually was. It's just he's back there playing it, man. Like he's using one of the, I think it was a cover six or cover nine. So it was three, but he was using it. So it's kind of like I could have got over the top of that if he wasn't back there. However, he was. So we had to run with the QB. Uh, we do have curl post drag, which, wait, is that wing stack or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, I usually look for the RB route, but it doesn't look like he's going to get open in this play. So, like I said, there's only so many things you can do with some of these plays. X was going to be wide open down the... I'm telling you, I got the setups, man. Like, the setups. I didn't even really set any hot routes on that play. So, second and five. I'm going to try to come back to post, but the PA fork, I mean. But my man is actually... I mean... He's scared of the damn play, bro. Look, watch. He's scared. This is this is what I mean. Everything underneath becomes wide open because they have to respect what I'm doing. These glitching things that happen in this game that I know about work to my advantage because now he has to sit back there. Look at him. He's sitting back there to play it. I had the flat open table route, but it's like, you know, what? I'm just going to run it, get my yards, get Darnold some playing time. You know what I mean? So we're the first and 10. I was like, let's go ahead and blend it all in now. Let's go ahead and run zone week. And what I've told you guys about zone week is he's going to set up his all out man blitz. This is how good zone week is for those that don't know. And this is what I'm talking about. Use these plays. Make sure you guys drop a like. My man had enough. That's three games in a row. No one scored any points while using the Panthers. Become a member. Check it all out. Love you guys, man. Peace.